Hey there, TRW Crew, Matt Vassallo here with TheRhinestoneWorld.com. So this is going to be an awesome video tutorial to show you how to make a very cool, unique custom design. So we posted an image of an M with Madison inside of it with our striped font on our Facebook page. And we said it was a design that we could create in under three minutes. So I want to go ahead and create a video on this to show you exactly how we can create a design exactly like that in under three minutes. So again, this is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com. Now the program we're going to be using here today is Corel Draw X5 and the TRW Stone Wizard. Uh, we have the version 1.12 on this computer. We actually have version 1.14 available now, but we're going to go ahead and just create it in this program and um, the TRW Stone Wizard Corel Draw and show you how easy this is. Okay, so we are at 55 seconds. I'm going to wait until we get to a minute on our video right here. Okay, we're exactly at one minute. I'm going to go ahead and start it. So I got a capital M here. I'm going to enlarge it a little quick. I'm going to go to fonts. I have the TRW striped font and I'm just going to run through this real quick just to show you how easy it is to create it. Two color magic text. I'm going to go ahead and go to arrange, convert that to curves. I want it about 6.5 inches tall. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my square tool and basic shape rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle right here and I'm going to do it about 8.6 inches. I'm going to turn that black and I'm going to center it right there. I'm going to bring another one, bring it down a little bit right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm black, hold shift, select both of those, arrange, shaping, simplify. Do the same thing with orange, select that, select that, arrange, shaping, simplify. You can see it simplified it out now. Now I'm going to click on my orange and I'm going to go arrange, break curve apart, black, arrange, break curve apart. I'm going to select the center part, delete that out. I'm going to select my black, select same color, shift, click on both of those. Then I'm going to go arrange, shaping, and weld. It welded those blacks together. Click on my orange, select same color, arrange, combine. Now I'm going to go in here to my M-A-D-I-S-O-N. I got my Madison and enlarge that to fill it perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and make this a bold font here. Throw my Madison in there perfectly. Make it a little bit larger there. And it'll fit in there nice and perfect. Let's click on my Madison there. I'm going to go ahead and go to my magic litter. Let's use purple. And on my orange, I'm going to use purple as well. On my black, I'm going to use silver. I'm going to highlight my design, go to mockups, go to my shirt, and bam, there we go. We got a Madison, and I just created that in two minutes and five seconds. The mockup and everything. And then when I come back here, all you need to do to get your colors. Now, I, I put my Madison separate, so just depending on if you want the Madison in there. If you want the Madison on the same template, just select both of your purples and just go to Arrange Combined, okay? And now when I highlight this, I go to my templates, I go to Create Magic Templates, there's your two templates right there. And then you just mirror them and you've got your heat transfer vinyl. You want to see the coolest thing about this though? When you're using our TRW Striped font, watch this. When I zoom in here and I go to View and Wireframe, it's still got our trapping method on there. So even though I did all of that, we still have our trapping method where we need to, we can do the glitter on glitter. So how awesome is that, that you can create two minutes and five seconds, I created that design. So think about that. I mean, and when you're creating the design and you create a custom design for someone, shoot, you could charge them $20 if you wanted to in a design, just for the setup and design fee, for something you created in two minutes, or even better, you don't charge them anything for the setup and design fee because you can create it in two minutes and five seconds with the TRW Stone Wizard. Throw that on a shirt real quick. They say, you know what? I want that on a long sleeve shirt. Two minutes and five seconds later, you hit that button and there it is. Bam. Madison and an M. Okay. So we did have, I post this on Facebook and I see a lot of you posting right now saying that you really want a video on this. And Jennifer actually said, she was the first one to say something. She said letter G and Gilbert in the middle. Well, Jennifer, I'm going to show you how easy the letter G and Gilbert in the middle is. So I'm going to go to File, New. Now I'm going to go a lot slower with this process because I want to explain to you guys what I was doing when I created it so quick there. So first thing I'm going to do, Text Tool, Capital G. 
Now, of course, you do need the TRW striped font, um, HTV font that you would purchase on the rhinestoneworld.com website. I've also listed a link to it right on the website, right below this video in YouTube here, that you can click on it and purchase it right now. But I'm going to go ahead and click on that font, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Stone Wizard and Edit tab, and I'm going to hit my two-color magic text. That gives us our two-color design, right? Now I'm going to go to Arrange and Convert it to Curves. That's going to get me my perfect sizing, so when I make it smaller or bigger or whatever I want. So the black right there, we also want to convert to curves. So two curves, and we're good to go there. So we're 7.2 inches tall. I want to say we want to be around 6.5 inches tall on these designs, okay? Now what we're going to do is we have, when I zoom in here, or I look at my wireframe, you can see we have the trapping method in case you want to do the glitter on glitter. Well, I also like doing the trap and trapping method even if you aren't doing glitter on glitter because when you do that, like the shirt that I made in the design today on the video I created on um, October 15th here, is the champs design and even though i was just using the easy weed i still use the trapping method because the great thing about it is it takes some of the thickness out of the shirt so it gives you that softer feel on the shirt that your customers are going to love okay so we got our g here and we used our trw striped font so everything's good there what i may want to do make sure you select both of them i can make it a little bit taller here and there's my G looking perfect, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my basic shape tool or text tool and just grab a rectangle, okay? So I'm going to grab this rectangle and I'm going to make it about, I don't know, about eight and a half inches wide is about what I like, okay? Now when I have that eight and a half wide, I want to go ahead and um, left click over here on my colors to fill it. I'm going to right click on this to get rid of that little outline box that we had. So now what we're going to do is we're going to center this. But the thing is with this G, we still want to make sure you can tell it's a G. Okay, because with some of the letters, it's a little bit different. So I think we can still, we'll still be able to tell that that's a G. So that's still looking good right there. Um, everything's looking pretty nice there. What I can do is I could highlight my design and go arrange and align and distribute and then I could center to page horizontally that makes sure that it's centered perfectly okay so everything's centered right there now there's a couple different tricks you need to do in order to keep that um, that trapping method in the font here so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that you just have to do this step by step so I'm going to click on my two lines first so I clicked on that one hold shift click on my second one you'll see if I move it I got both of those selected okay control Z to go back now I'm going to keep shift held and I'm going to click on my black now just the black then I'm going to go arrange shaping simplify and I'm going to show you what that did it simplified just the black okay that's fine. That's what we wanted it to do. If you would have selected both of them, it would have simplified out our trapping method and you would have lost that. Okay? So now I'm going to go click on the bottom one, click on this one, click on my orange, arrange, shaping, simplify. And then, bam, you're perfect. Cut straight across. Okay? And you can see when I go to my view and wireframe, still have my trapping method. Okay? Perfect, perfect. Good, good. So let's go back to enhance. Now watch what happens. If I want to try and get rid of the middle, that's still all combined. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on just the black here and I'm going to go arrange, break curve apart. Click on the orange, arrange, break curve apart. Now I'm going to select the inside. You see, I don't have the whole thing selected just along the middle of that line and then the middle of the bottom line. And that's going to pull out all of this middle here. Delete that out. We can still see this is a G, still looks good there. Now what I'm going to do is look right here. That's actually separated different and you can't weld them together yet because they're different color blacks. Okay, so here's what we do to do fix that. Click on this right here. I just clicked on my top black right there. I'm going to select the same color. So it selected all of this black. Okay, now I'm going to hold shift click on both of my bars right there and then I'm going to click on this top black so it just turned them all the exact same color. Now I can go arrange, shaping, weld and look what it did. It welded that perfectly. Okay? 
So now we got that welded. Now I'm going to click on my orange, which it's going to look weird. Your orange is going to look weird right now. Don't pay attention to that. Just click on your orange, select same color, arrange, combine. And then look what this did. Boom. There you go. We are sitting pretty right now. Now we're going to go to our font tool and let's do G I L B E R T. There's our Gilbert. We're going to go ahead and bold that up. We're going to enlarge it a little here. We got our Gilbert fitting nicely. If we want to add a little spacing in the Gilbert, just click on your text and spacing shape tool, drag it out a little bit. We can add a little bit of spacing in between the letters, which looks perfect there. And then what we can do is just drag this down a little bit and we're looking perfectly centered right there. Now we got our magic glitter. Let's go with a purple and the orange is purple and the black is silver. And there we go. Look at that Gilbert looking great. I may want to raise the Gilbert just a tiny bit. Looking great. Highlight your entire design. Go to mockups. Go to your women's fitted shirt and you got your custom G with Gilbert right there perfectly. So if you had an S for sailors, if you had an M for Mustangs, think of the possibilities with this. You can do any, any different team name you want, any different, um, as far as custom name for a person, you can do anything you want with this, with the, with the large letter and then the custom name inside of it. So definitely definitely check this out check the font out we do again have the striped font that we used in this video right below the video here on the youtube description just click on that font you can purchase the font off our website right now we also have the link to the trw stone wizard right below as well you do need corel draw x4 x5 or x6 to run the TRW Stone Wizard. It is available with the 32-bit and the 64-bit version as well. So definitely check those out. Make sure to comment below. Like this video if you feel like it helped you out with your designs. We like to see when you're showing that you like the videos because we know that they're helping you. Comment on this video. Let us know if you think this is a pretty cool design to be able to create in two minutes and five seconds. I think it's pretty awesome. And the options and, and things you can do with this design are just unlimited. You can do all different kinds of things. And you could, you don't necessarily have to have the striped chevron looking font either. You can just do it with a basic font as well and a basic design. So anything you want using the different simplify welding techniques that we used here with, um, with using the Corel Draw X5 and the TRW Stone Wizard. So again, comment below. Let us know what you think of this video. Let us know what you think of the design. Let us know what you think of us. And if you do have any questions, make sure to visit the website, www.therhinestoneworld.com. Give us a call, 941-755-1696. Again, this is Matt with therhinestoneworld.com, and you guys all have a wonderful night.